So what are the high level steps for building an AI chatbot? So the first step is to define the domain, the business use case and the end goal for building the chatbot. As I mentioned in the earlier videos, start off with a closed domain instead of building a generalized AI chatbot. Next, define the conversation interfaces. Start with defining what kind of questions needs to be answered. Define the conversation dialogue flow on how various interaction would happen with the end user. For instance, booking a flight is one dialogue flow. Booking a hotel is another dialogue flow. And within the dialogue flow, what would be the interaction flow with the user? As a next step, define how do you capture the feedback from the user regarding the answers provided. Now the feedback can be explicit, like the user rating the answer, or implicit on how much time a user spends looking at the answer and follow up activity after that. Capturing the feedback is very important because it will help you to improve your AI chatbot implementation. The third step is question answer exploration. So start with identifying existing sources for questions like website, FAQ, call center logs and so on. Create a test representation of questions that would be asked. Create variations of questions for training the chatbot to understand the language and be able to generalize well. The last step is identifying sources of answers, whether it would be programmed response or coming from internal knowledge source and documents like technical manuals or troubleshooting guides and so on. So once you've identified the conversation and interface and what kind of questions and answers are expected, you'll go about picking up a technology approach. So in this step, you will decide how to implement the chatbot. So there are basically two approaches. Building your own chatbot implementation using available frameworks like TensorFlow, NLP implementations like NLP Toolkit, Core NLP or Open NLP and building your own custom components or using an existing platform service from a cloud vendor like Google NLP, Amazon Lex or an Azure bot service. In both approaches, you would need to train the chatbot implementation to recognize the question intent, domain, and the language. So existing platform services have simplified this process by providing required utilities that make it easier to create chatbots. So we'll talk about how do you build chatbots using chatbot platforms in our next video. Once you have implemented the chatbot, the next step is to pick up a delivery channel. In this step, you will decide how to expose the chatbot to end users through the required channel. The channel can be web, mobile or voice enabled devices. The chatbot implementation would typically expose an API to ask questions and get the response, which can be called by any channel implementation. You can also release your chatbot implementation over third-party services like uh, Facebook Messenger or voice-enabled services like Amazon Alexa. Now, the last step for the chatbot implementation is release, monitoring, and feedback. Now, once the chatbot is released, you typically store all the user interactions to help you analyze the user behavior and the preferences better. The user and behavior data, in turn, can be used to provide a more personalized service. Now, how would you use this new user information depends on your use case. For instance, if a travel chatbot is recommending a new holiday trip, it can suggest options based on your last trip interaction. So you need to basically build a recommendation system that looks at the history of the user interaction in the past and suggest options. Another important point is to capture feedback from the user at regular intervals to understand if the chatbot is providing the right information. 
the feedback captured will be used to improve the chatbot implementation, which can lead to training the chatbot implementation with new information. For instance, your chatbot may not be trained on recognizing certain entities and concept, and as a result, the responses would not be proper. So you need to plan for building and releasing incremental models based on the feedback. So this concludes our this week's episode. So in the next week's episode, we'll look at how do you build chatbots using chatbot platforms and integrate with third party services. Hope you found the information useful. Till then, have a great week and thank you for watching.